Kendra. I'm a beauty blogger who loves to talk about all things fashion and beauty. So today, <coughs> I'm really excited to show you guys my go-to date night look. What I'm going to share with you today are some of my favorite sort of light-handed beauty products. So we're gonna start with this primer, and it is called the No Filter Primer. And what it does is it just really flattens out your pores and makes your skin look kind of glowy from underneath whatever you're gonna put on next. I have tried about a million different kinds of concealer. It's insane. This concealer is basically my favorite item in my kit. If I had to go on a desert island, and only bring one thing from my beauty kit, this would be it. This one is in the shade of 3.5, and it just makes a flawless cover, unlike any other concealer I've ever tried, personally. I like to um, just dab it on my ring finger, just a teeny little bit, a little goes a long way. This brand is a little bit more expensive than some of the brands that I talk about. And so then, like, I'll take this brush, uh, 160F, this place last year on Yelp. Mm. You ever had bubble tea? Uh, no. It is the best thing you're ever gonna have. It's really good. So, um, now she's making jewelry out of garbage or something like that, like turning trash into necklaces? Uh, upcycling. I mean, good on her, she's only 17, but it's not anything I know anything about. It's uh, something I'm trying to let her mom take care of. Thank you. Can we have another for her, please? Can I see some ID? Uh, I'm good with water. Oh, you can get whatever you want. I'm good with water, thanks. Mm. Mm. Anyway, um, have you ever bought anything off of Etsy? Um, not really, but I, I know about it. Well, I mean, it's cool, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, it's cool that we can just talk, you know? I appreciate that we can just chill. Yeah, I mean, for sure. Here's something. This is wild. So the other day, a kid your age, well, not a kid, but uh, your age, he comes stumbling into the ER. And he's totally fucked up. You know, nodding out, he's got chills, obvious dope fiend lean, or so I thought. Because then I, I go in and I see that he's got this patchy, like, dark shit all over his hand. I'm thinking, like, what the fuck? So first, I ask him, you know, if there's anything that he's not telling me, and obviously he's not saying anything. So then I find out that he's got this bump. And I think it's, you know, it's inflammation or something, but it's not, because he's got this thin layer of shit that's just like flaking off. So again, I'm asking him just as nicely as I can, right? What this shit is, and he's still not saying anything. So I go in and the kid has sepsis, but it's because he... Thank you so much. But it's because he's got a fucking Bluetooth transmitter inside his hand. Oh, like the one you'd have in your phone? Just, uh... There you go. He tells us that he put it in there himself and just, like, sealed it up with Gorilla Glue or some shit like that. Finally, he tells us he put it in there because he wanted to start his car without his keys. <laughs> and 
Anyway, so, you know, with the Cipro, he's fine now. Oh, well, not fine, obviously, because I mean, like, what the fuck? But just another day of the ER. Sorry, can, can you excuse me for a minute? See? How hard was that? Hmm. All right. Let's see what we've got. Excuse me. Dinner was good. Yeah, like noodles. Uh -huh. Something's different. Did you do your hair? Um, so it's for the 15th day? Yeah, the 40s, same as always. Could I get a higher dose? Mm hmm. Could I, I, I maybe get some 80s? I don't know. Has the pain really been bothering you that much? I mean, yeah, I, I guess. <laughs> How is it on a scale of one to ten? Could I, uh, could I get a higher dose? Mm. Like, could you maybe write it now for the 80s, just before, okay. What? What? <laughs> I don't know, can we talk about it after? doesn't need to be perfect. Okay, that is nice. Then to finish, you just want a little bit of glitter because this is a special night, right? Any gold shadow is great. And I put it right on the middle of my eye above the iris. And that just like really brings a lot of attention to like the color of your eyes. And I just take some of the like rusty brown colors and I just dab them in and I go all the way across the lid. Just, this is my like base.
and maybe found a new product that you love, I'm linking all the products that I discussed today in the description box below. So if you click through there, I get a little bit of credit with them. So if you do that, awesome. If not, no worries. All opinions are my own. These are not sponsored posts. These are all products that I love and wanted to share with you myself. I hope you all learned something and like this video. If you do, please hit the like button. And also, if you have any suggestions for more videos from me, I do upload videos every Thursday and Sunday, and I can't wait to hear how this date night look worked for all of you. Thanks for watching another video from Kendra. See you next time.